Hello, this is Gio, and I'm looking at a bathroom sink right here. And quite often, or sometimes, occasionally, they do get clogged up. And before you call a plumber to see why the pipe is plugged up and why the sink won't drain, there's a couple of easy things you could do to uh, see if you can solve the problem. One of which is just to clean out the uh, pop-up stopper here. And I have another video that shows that. But another common um, problem is that the P-drain or P-trap gets clogged up. So underneath the sink you have a drain that comes from the top or the this is the drain of the sink. It comes down and this is called the P-trap. Basically it's designed to hold water um, in this little space so that uh, the sewer water or the, the air from the sewer doesn't just kind of come up and out into your home. You don't want to smell all that sewage. So basically this P-trap is designed to trap some water to actually make a seal so you don't get all that sewer gas. So it's very important but it does form a little area where debris can get caught up. Especially let's say uh, hair clips or I've even seen pencils in here stuck, hair gets clogged up um, and so sometimes you do need to clean it out and it's really easy to do. You just need a couple of tools. So the first tool you need is just a little bucket because again water gets trapped in here and when you unscrew these little um, uh, components here it's going to drain the water. So you want a bucket to catch the water so it doesn't get all all over the place. Second thing you need is just some uh, a wrench or pliers or something big enough that you can get around here. Um, but sometimes you could even be lucky and you could un loosen these um, components just with your hands. So we'll try that first. Ugh, they are pretty tight so we'll go ahead and use a wrench. This one's pretty tight. And it looks like the seal's a, a little bit old too. It's all cracking. So let's So we go ahead and here comes the water. Don't worry, as long as the water is off, it will stop leaking. Just a second. Now, this joint had a little bit more problems than I thought. This is supposed to just come straight up and have a seal on the bottom, but the seal is all busted up. And so I lift this up and I could just rotate this out just like that and then you can see the water inside and now I'm gonna remove this top one which already seems a little loose but I'll use a wrench anyway hold on so I um, loosened it and I take it off and here is where you could inspect the p-trap and remove any debris there is and kind of rinse it out the, this one's pretty good uh, I really didn't have a a blockage but uh, I'll go ahead and clean this off so now taking this off, I realize that the seals are really degraded, so you barely could even see the seal. You pop this off, and this is the seal to the P-trap. It actually goes, this, this component goes on first, and then followed by the seal. And the compression between this and the pipe actually seals, but I have to replace the seal. So I'll go ahead and, and get a new one, and get a new one for this one as well. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned up these components. I think one of the problems here was that uh, the old compression washer that fit on top of here and sealed the pipe was old and somebody didn't have a replacement, so they put a bunch of sealant around it and kind of gooped everything up. It worked, but it's not the best way of dealing with it. So I went ahead and got a new compression washer that actually uh, you, sl you slip the tightening ring on first and then you put the compressor washer there and then uh, you put the pipe in and that through just tightening that the compression washer seals the pipe 
and will prevent leaks. Now when purchasing the compression washers, make sure you get the right size. There are different sizes of these out in the market, so maybe bring, just bring your P-trap and uh, fit, them, fit them properly. So next we're going to do is take this off. Since I have to take the whole, whole, uh, whole, uh, whole pipe off at this joint so I can get the new compression washer on that one. And I'll go ahead and do that next. Okay, so I took this pipe off and actually the compressor washer on this side was in pretty good shape. And I took off the compression washer, the old one, which is, uh, is this one it? This one was actually on this side. And there's actually a plate on this side. So whoever installed this before put it on the wrong side. It's not supposed to be on this side. It's supposed to be on this side of this little ridge. And so I went ahead and put a new one there, took this one off and um, I'm putting it back together now. Just going to loosely fit them for now. Make sure everything fits up nicely. Again, don't tighten anything until you know everything fits properly. Does that? pretty much where it's supposed to be. Pipe needs to be a little straighter. And there we go. Let's start tightening things up. And I'll go ahead and finish tightening and see what we have. Okay, so I finished tightening them and I only really hand tightened them. I used a little paper towel to, to just get them taut. Um, you don't want to tighten them too much. You can break things if you over tighten things. And so it's good. I ran the water. Make sure that there's no leak. And there's no leaks. And so I got everything back together. And so it was a little more difficult than just removing these. A lot of times you could just remove these um, and all the, all the washers are in good shape. And so you just reinstall them. But in this case, unfortunately, we had some issues. So I had to buy some new washers. But it's not that difficult. You just take them out and replace them. Um, you know, make sure that you uh, have a good seal. Test them before you uh, leave. And there you go. I did get some debris out of this pipe, actually. There was some clog right here. This one was pretty clean. But this was just an example. But I did clean it out a bit. So, hope this helps you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.